I'm going to continue reading the book Mindfulness in Plain English. So what is wrong with you? Are you a freak? No, you are just human and you suffer from the same malady that infects every human being. It is a monster inside all of us and it has many arms. Chronic tension, lack of genuine compassion for others, including the people closest to you, feelings being locked up and emotional deadness. Many, many arms. No one, none of us is entirely free from it. We may deny it. We try to suppress it. We build a whole culture around hiding from it, pretending it is not there, and distracting ourselves from it with goals and projects and status. But it never goes away. It is a constant undercurrent in every thought and every perception. A little wordless voice at the back of the head that keeps saying, Not good enough yet. Got to help more. Got to make it better. Got to be better. It is a monster. A monster that manifests everywhere in a subtle forms. In subtle forms. Go to a party. Listen to the laughter. That brittle tongue voice that says fun on the surface and fear underneath. Feel the tension. Feel the pressure. Nobody really, nobody really relaxes. They are faking it. Go to a ball game. Watch the fight in the stand. Watch the irrational fights, uh, fits of anger. Watch the uncontrolled frustration bubbling forth from people that masquerades under the guise of enthusiasm or team spirit. Booing cat's calls and unbridled egotism in the name of the team loyalty. Drunkenness, fight in the stand. These are the people trying desperately to release tension from within. These are not people who are at peace with themselves. Watch the news on TV. Listen to the lyrics in popular songs. You find the same theme repeated over and over in variation, jealousy, suffering, discontent, and stress. Life, life seems to be perpetual struggle. Some enormous effort against staggering odds that and what is our solution to all this dissatisfaction? We got stuck in the if only syndrome. If only I had more money then I will be happy. If only I can find somebody who really loves me. If only I can lose 20 pounds. If only I had a color TV, jacuzzi, and curly hair, and on and on forever. So where does all this junk come from? And more important, what can we do about it? It comes from the conditions of our own minds. It is a deep, subtle and pervasive set of mental habits. A guardian knot which we have built up bit by bit. And we can unravel just that same way, one piece at a time. We can tune up our awareness, drag up each separate piece and bring it out into the light. We can make the unconsciousness conscious, slowly one piece at a time.